everyone welcome to my channel my name is Nikki and I am back with a back to school series so today is going to be a DIY on school supplies so it's easy simple projects that you can do to customize your school supplies Links to the supplies for these DIYs are listed down in the description box and make sure to stay till the end for a special giveaway. Starting off with some plain school supplies, I have a notebook, folder, and binder that we're going to decorate. Pick up some fun stickers and sticker labels that match your style. You can also pick up some assorted washi tape. This is a great way to add color to your plain school supplies and show your personality. Choose three to four coordinating washi tapes and start covering your notebook. I'm starting here at the spine of the notebook and just making some vertical lines with my washi tape. You can do different um, patterns as well. And then add some stickers, add your style. Um, here I'm just going for like a feather theme. I have some dream catchers and some arrows. And then for the sticker label, I'm going to cover the front of the notebook and this is where I'm going to write down the subject. Have fun creating your own design as you go like I did. I also added more washi tape to make a label with my name and I really like the aspiring quotes that I put on my notebook. Now it's time to make a bookmark. These are really easy and cute. I have some necklace charms that I found at the craft store, jump rings, crimp beads, as well as leather cords. Start unraveling your cord, leave about 2 inches for the spine and then run the cord down the middle of the notebook and down at the bottom you want to leave about 1 inch for the charms. Have fun choosing the charms that really describe you. Here I have one that says courage and a feather and this just goes with the theme of my notebook. I'm opening up my jump ring and adding the charms first and then my crimping bead. Simply close the jump ring and add the crimpy to the end of the cord. For mine, I folded it in half just because my cord is a little thin and you're going to close the crimpy by pushing together both sides. Now you have your own very cute and customized bookmark charm for your notebook. Pull the charm so the crimp bead hits the very bottom of the notebook and then for the rest of the cord, secure it to the spine with some hot glue. To hide the exposed cord on the outside, I simply used some washi tape and put this down the spine of the notebook. I really like how this DIY turned out. I love the custom bookmark charms. I hope you guys try it out. On to the next DIY. This one requires a folder with two pockets. Here I'm making a square and it's going to be three by five inches. And what I'm going to do is just mark them on the corners. And taking some printed cardstock, I'm going to take those measurements and cut out that square. By the way, I am so in love with the cardstock that I picked out. They're so Instagram-esque. Anyways, so for the four corners, you can see that I have them marked out like this and I'm going to cut diagonally and that's going to be the little slits that the square fits into. Now your cardstock should fit in there. If it doesn't, all you have to do is cut the slit longer until all the four corners fit. You can either write directly on it or you can add some sticker labels and some fun stickers like I did here. Don't forget the inside, you can always decorate the pockets as well with some washi tape and more stickers. 
If you like to use a binder for school, this is the perfect way to customize your own. Start by measuring out your binder. Make sure to leave a little room on the edges so it fits nicely. Pick a cardstock of your choice. This one is so cute with the Ferris wheel. I love it. It looks all filtered out. And use your cutter to cut it to size. And also I like to use some leftover cardstock to also fit into the spine of the binder. I like this idea because you can always change out the image whenever you want. Um, here I'm just showing you how you can also decorate it with some cool washi tape, stickers, customized pictures. You can print out your Instagram pictures or put some fun Polaroids on there. For the inside pockets, I'm just showing you how you can use washi tape in different directions and different patterns to decorate. I love it. I can you tell that I love washi tape. <laughs> and then on the other side, I just have another pattern to show you guys just to give you some ideas. Now is the time to bring some life back into your old paper clips. Here I have some white ones just because I love white and some decorative washi tape again. So I'm just cutting about an inch of washi tape and then cutting it down the middle. This seems to work for the paper clip that I have for the size. And then simply putting it down the middle and folding it in half. Then I like to cut down the two edges to make a page flag effect and it's that easy guys. And now to spruce up your binder clips. If you have any that are lying around that are boring or old, now is the time to give them some personality. So again, I'm just using washi tape and cutting them to size and folding them over. You can also coordinate your binder and paper clips by subject by using different color washi tape. It's a great way to spruce up your supplies as well as stay organized. Now it's time to decorate your writing utensils. I got these pack of pens for just $1 and I'm going to decorate them with more washi tape. I am putting them down vertically and I did put a pen mark where the cap ends so I know where to start my washi tape. And at the bottom of the pen I'm leaving one inch just so I can put the two sides together. And this just helps the washi tape from slipping off. And then I'm doing the same thing I did for the paper clips and cutting them diagonal just to give a kind of flag effect and it's super cute guys and now you know which pens are yours so no one takes them. Yay, I hope you guys enjoy the DIYs. Now it's time for a giveaway. You will be winning a notebook and binder to decorate yourself and a makeup pouch and pencil case. So all the rules are down below. Make sure you check them out and be subscribed to this channel to be notified of new videos every Tuesday and upcoming school tips and giveaways. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.